Today we'll be looking at equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions are fractions which have the same value. Here we have one whole is equal to something over two. One whole is equal to two over two. This question is telling us that one whole has the same value as two over two. Here we have one whole is equal to something over three. One whole is the same as three over three. One whole is equal to something over four. One whole is the same as four over four. We have something over five is equal to one whole. Five over five is equal to one whole. Something over six is equal to one whole. Six over six is equal to one whole. In this example, we have one half is equal to something over four. The first thing I need to do is look at my denominators. As I can see, I have both denominators. So I'm looking at my denominators and I can see here I'm going from a smaller number to a bigger number. What operation do I have to do? What could be done to two to give me four? This is what I'm asking myself. What can I do to two to get four? I can multiply by two. Now, because we want to make this an equivalent fraction, whatever you multiply the denominator by, you also have to multiply the numerator by. Two twos are four, and one times two is two. So here we have one half is equal to, or one half is equivalent to two quarters. Here we have two quarters is equal to something over eight. I'm going from a small denominator to a big denominator. What do I need to do? What can I do to four to give me eight? I can multiply four by two to give me eight. The same thing I do with my denominator, I have to do with my numerator. So two twos are four. Now let me explain to you a technique that I show my students. What? Here I have my two numerators. Alright, so I'm going to look at my two numerators. I'm going from 2 to 4. What can I do to 2 to get 4? Now if you don't know, you can do this. You can count in 2's until you get to 4. So you can say, I'm going from a small number to a big number. So I know that I have to multiply. But how much do I multiply by? I'm going to count in twos using my counters until I get to four. Two, four. So you see this tells me that I have to multiply two by two. How many counters do I have here? One, two. Because two twos will give me four. Now if I multiply my numerator by two, I also have to multiply my denominator by two. Three twos. Six. Here I have three quarters is equal to something over 12. What am I going to do? I'm going to pay particular attention to my denominators. As I can see, I'm going from a small denominator to a big denominator. What do I need to do? The operation would be to multiply. Multiply by how much? If you don't know, you can count in fours until you get to 12 using your fingers or counters. 4, 8, 12. So this tells me that I have to multiply 4, how much times? 3 times. If I multiply my denominator by 4, I also have to multiply my numerator by 4. 3 threes are 9. So 3 quarter is equivalent to 9 over 12. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, share and subscribe for more lessons like this.